Hi, this is welcome back to the channel. So it's your girl just saying in today's video It's my thoughts and opinion about you know Shane Dawson series that he came out with you know He came up with three episodes of Tanakan, you know talking about you know what happened at Tanakan, the truth about Tanakan, the truth about Tana Mojo and all that good stuff okay what all of you guys have been you know rambling about for the past few days he kind of like trying to come out with the truth about all the tanakon issues and what really happened and what went wrong but before we get started you guys already know you guys already know what's good what's up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this one a thumbs up also don't forget to follow me on my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat at just and yeah it will be it will be listed down below in the description box for your for your convenience and yeah let's hop into this video okay all right so unless you have been living under a rock honey Shane Dawson has been posting about this whole time account like he had a little series going on technically because it, it seemed like it was a little mm, movie you know part one part two and part three honey so yeah let's you know let's chit chat about part one first okay y'all already know here on YouTube we love Shane Dawson like He's like the king of this YouTube stuff, okay? We love him. And not everybody loves Tana Mojo, but yeah, she's also popping or whatever. So yeah, I'm cool with both of them, okay? Like, they're doing them. I love the grind. You know, Tana Mojo likes to be herself, even though she's, you know, she goes overboard sometimes, but she likes to be herself. And um, Shane Dawson is just him. Like, I just love him. Problem period. Like, Shane was good. Hey. Thank you for giving a lot of examples to these, you know, upcoming YouTubers. Cause he also inspires me. Cause he's in, he, he just he doesn't try to be someone else. He's being himself, and he's like grinding by being himself for real. Like unless, unlike other people or here on YouTube that end up, you know, switching up from time to time because you know they want to get more number. You know, they do fake stuff. You know, no tea, no shade. But you know, yeah, I love him. I love him. That's that. So let's talk about the first one. The truth about. Tana Khan. First of all, let me tell you guys something. I watch everything. Like, literally, I fell asleep on watching it. I woke up in the morning, play it again, start over, because I forgot what I left off, you know, just to watch it, you know, to make sure before I make this video, I watched everything. The truth about Tana Khan, I'm going to sum it up a little bit. Like, he was explaining, you know, saying that he's sorry, you know, and he actually interviewed two girls, you know, face to face that were there. That was just awesome. Like, that is so great. Like, that's how you know he's down to earth. That's what I'm saying, you know. We love Shane Dawson here on YouTube. So, he's down to earth. He interviewed the girls. They came over to his house. Like, his house. To show you how much, you know, he really cares about supporters. Okay? So, he did that. They talked to him about, you know, what the experience was. About, you know, you know not having actually a free... Remember the guys said they said there was gonna be like a free passes, like four thousand free passes and one thousand, you know, that you had to pay. You know, the girls mentioned that you know everybody that they saw on the line there had nothing but paid pass. So I'm like, mm, you know, what's all that about? But yeah, he mentioned that he meant you know he also called Tana Mojo, you know, to talk to her, and he also uh, talked to Michael. Michael is that little twenty or twenty one year old guy. You guys saw with blonde hair that you know kept going up and down during TanaCon is him, and he was the one running the convention. Like, first of all, Tana is not grown; she's another kid. Hiring another kid to take off her convention that was first of all a bad idea, a terrible idea, like bad, 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 bad. Okay, so that's that. And you know he mentioned all those stuff. Then the second that was the first the first one okay that was the first that was the first one was the interview with the girls that was at, that were at Tanacon, and you know he the funny part is when he went through the you know goodie bags and there was like a condom in there one whole time it was supposed to be things that were three times worth the price they paid for the back for the for the ticket to get there hmm terrible <laughs> terrible you guys should just watch it like it was terrible but um the second one he called it the truth about Tana Mojo. And that's when he wanted to talk to her. You know, he wanted to make sure, you know, she didn't know anything about what really went on. Because, you know, all she did know if she did. Because he felt like, you know, the fact that it was her event. And prior to that, she was taking vacations, you know, traveling, going out, partying. He just felt like, you know, she could have been more involved, you know, to avoid all this. And uh, people are like, why is Shane Dawson, like, putting his heart and soul into this drama or whatever it is but then again you guys need to remember this his face oh sorry stop texting me 
but yeah you guys remember this his face was on the flyer like his face you know his picture was on the flyer he was one of the feature creators so of course he has something to say because let me tell you guys something i'm sure half of the people coming there were coming there for him okay because if you guys watch the videos people were like oh we want shane dawson i flew out here for him this is that the third like if it was around where i live i would have went you know for him too and Tana, of course, but then mostly for him, you know. So yeah, I found, I was like, wow, like, you know, that was that. So he has the right to talk about it. Don't don't be hitting the comments or just thumbing down the video for no reason. Like he has the right to comment on it because his face was on it. Okay, okay, that's that. That part is thrown out of the window. And the second part of truth about Tana Mojo, he interviewed her, and like he interviewed um. The guy separately, like I said, you know, that was the end of that. He continued on that video to interview um, Tana, and he went to her place to visit her. And in the meantime, when he was doing all these interviews, you know, he was looking at the conspiracies, like, you know, what, you know, what he actually saw on videos that fans posted or people posted based on what they're telling him on the phone, which I like because he didn't just believe Tana because that's his friend or daughter, but um, he actually believed what some of the things that Michael said, some of the things that us defense posted, and some of the things that Tana said. He just didn't want to hear and believe everything she said, which is why I'm like, we love him because he's so real. He's him, okay? He's himself, which is what we love here on YouTube. Like, be you, be who you really are. Don't try to be somebody you're not. So, that's that. The third video was the best part, where is the real truth about Tana Khan. Okay, that's what I finished a little bit this morning because he posted it like sometimes last night and I, I fell asleep watching it and I woke up in the morning and I started over to watch it again. So it was a really good part because he went to Tana's house. He had Tana, him and the guy called Michael on the line because that Michael flew right after the Tana con went back. He flew back to where he stayed. So apparently he's a young guy that just uses his parents money you know to do this thing because gt which is not a real like co um, company it's just him and he actually signed papers saying that if t uh, to the ticket company saying that if tenor colors don't go well he's ready to like reimburse like his company was going to reimburse the money back which was three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars okay so I don't know, that's why he's saying he's going bankrupt and he's going to lose his house. He mentioned in the videos, he's going to lose his house, he's going to lose his car, you know, all this stuff. But you signed the papers, you knew what you were doing. And he wants to like make a documentary of Tanakan, you know, just to sell it on Netflix and things like that, you know, to make money. Like, are you sure you weren't making sure that this goes bad on purpose so you can make money and the profit out of it? Like... You know, there's a lot of conspiracies going on. But yeah, the third one, you know, talks about, uh, he had a FaceTime, they were all three talking together. And he wasn't afraid to mention certain things that Michael wanted to mention or had mentioned before when they talked one-on-one. -on -one. And he also wasn't afraid to mention the things that him and Tana talked about one-on-one, -on -one, which is what I'm like. That's a real person. Like, he was, he was on that FaceTime call saying you know okay I spoke to you earlier you mentioned this you know can you talk about you know can you touch more based on that on that topic you mentioned earlier and he wasn't afraid to do that which is why I'm like I need a friend like him because most of these guys and girls just be fake out here and just trying to make it look like you know they're really on your side but actually lying to yourself because they're not telling you the truth you know so basically if you're my friend you're not telling me the truth then you are technically lying to me so yeah he's a good friend for doing that and basically the bottom line of everything was that he feels like, you know, Michael is not a bad guy. He feels like both of them messed up and, you know, have to find a way to fix it. He feels like the people that pay have to get the money back, okay? And he also said for him to make it up for other fans, he will have a free meet, meet and greet. You know, I think where he stays at, like in his state or whatnot. And then for the people that live around the world, they will just find something, you know, to do, you know, or something to make it up for them. Which I'm like, whoa, like, how many creators out here on YouTube, like, actually admit their mistakes? I'll wait, okay? So, yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions about the Shane Dawson. I feel like it was a great thing to do. And Tana didn't want to post it on her channel because she would have gotten a lot of hate. Like, you know, she had been getting hate whenever she felt like she should apologize for the situation. Which I'm like, you know, I'm like, 
why would you guys give so much hate to someone that is trying to better herself or apologize for her mistakes like at least she admitted it you know that she made a mistake but then you know it's life it's the world that's how we are so yeah i like the fact that shane doesn't post it on his channel even though he's making so much coins all those three videos are now i have hit 10 10 10 million views so that's 30 million views that he stacked up in four days okay that's crazy that's crazy because he the first video was posted five days ago then the second one four days ago and then the one the third one was posted last night like i said so i'm like he has stacked like 30 million views that's a lot okay on his channel i mean i don't know if he will share with with tana mojo or not or if he will use that to reimburse or give some of that money to reimburse the ticket since the ticket company has held the funds i don't know because you know they don't want to do the refund because the guy michael had like i said signed agreeing that you know if everything don't work well he's ready to pray, to pay you know uh give the money back to the people that purchased the tickets so yeah so yeah i think shane did a good job you guys asked me on instagram i asked you guys on instagram if i should talk about this and you guys replied and said yes so the yes were more than the no's and that's why i'm doing this video thank you guys for watching and also thank you shane for you know being such a great person you're an amazing person i don't know you in person but just by watching your videos and the way you interact with people and your fans and you know you're just awesome okay and to you tana i feel like you got you, you learned a lesson by you know this that went on and i feel like you went into this with a lot of revenge in your heart more than even though you had good intention but you 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 really wanted to do, have a revenge against Vipcon so bad that you just planned it so quick and it hit the fans like you went so wrong because you know you weren't ready to host something this big at such a little time so on that end you know if you want to do something like that next year you should start planning now with a real company that has hosted you know conventions before not just a little 20 or 21 year old guy that just says he knows how to do it or and because he dresses in chanel and you know big brands means that you know he got money from doing all these you know conventions before okay so that's on you and you michael before you you know present your gt company or whatever the case may be as a big you know you know big big brand and stuff make sure you let them know that it's just you you don't only you know you know you the owner like that company is you don't make it seem like there's people behind you you know like uh, there's a ceo or, you know vice ceo or all this stuff okay let it be known and don't even try to do it anymore like stick on i don't know i don't know stick on hosting birthday parties stick on you know doing some stuff I don't know, hosting by the parties, that, that's about it. House parties at that, like not at the hall or anything like that, no. House parties, because the way he was showing, you know, in the video, the way he was showing Tana, you know, the, the way the stage was going to look, all that was a lie. It didn't happen, like it didn't look that big. So, honey, just stick to hosting birthday parties, house parties, and, you know, all that good stuff. Baby showers, maybe not. Nah, the baby will, will probably come out that same day. No, yeah, house parties and birthdays. That's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Once again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below in top of any type of video you like to see next. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps me a lot. So I know if you guys like this type of video or not. And yeah um if it's your first time checking out my channel, guess what? You're most definitely welcome. Okay, this is where it's at. And if you are returning you know viewer or subscriber thank you for coming back and welcome back to the channel and yeah i hope to see you guys on my next video once again do not forget to follow me on all my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat at just on love will be listed down below you guys can dm me you guys already know oh i answer to every single body like literally and you guys should also go ahead and send me snap messages you know with any type of video you'd like me to react to next or talk about or you know anything you want to see in general okay and i got you guys i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed